The show starts with our main character, Hung Yoon, recording a vlog with her best friend, Ye Chan. The two have been best friends since elementary school, and now that they are 18 years old, they both dream of love. Yoon lets her viewers know that she's been dieting for a week now, but Chan has dragged her into the canteen to eat lunch. She then attempts to reapply her lipstick, but can't find the right angle. Therefore, Chan offers to help her, but accidentally smudges lipstick all over her face. With an apologetic face, he runs away, and Yun chases him. On the way, she comes across a couple, and while looking at them, she accidentally slips, falling to the ground. The couple approaches her, and it turns out that the guy, Yun Wook, is an ex-boyfriend. Wook makes fun of her, so she pretends not to recognize him. Instead, she tells him to take care of his girlfriend. Despite this, Cho continues chatting Yun, and this is when a strange guy hugs her from behind. The guy, Hei Jin, defends Yun and tells Wook to leave his girl alone. Although startled, Yun thanks Hei Jin before rushing off to class. In the meantime, Chan gets a call from his senior, Ji Hyo. It's revealed that he's been pining over her for a while now. Chan arrives at the restaurant and sees a wasted Ji Hyo ordering more beers. A worried Chan rushes over to her and asks what happened. Ji Hyo starts pouring out her heart, telling him that her boyfriend dumped her and she can't understand why. Chan comforts her, but he isn't sure why she called him. Completely wasted, Ji Hyo throws up inside Chan's bag, making him want to freaking puke. The next day, Yun as usual vlogs during lunch break with Chan, but the poor boy is still retching from the previous day's incident, so he keeps making nauseating faces. At one point, Chan abruptly asks Yun if she's ever kissed someone. Our down-to-earth heroine confidently says that she would be considered an idiot if she hadn't kissed anyone by now, seeing she is 18. Chan confesses that he hasn't kissed anyone yet, so Yun starts giving him lessons. She takes two dumplings on her chopstick, making them resemble lips, and then demonstrates a kissing scene. Chan makes fun of her, and the best friends banter back and forth. Just then, Chan receives a call from his mom, so he abruptly leaves the cafe. Yun runs after him, calling him out for not paying. Later that evening, she records another vlog talking about her day. Yun explains having to go to the bathroom time and time again because she has had the shits all day. She tells her viewers that she's home alone today, so nobody is there to look after her. Chan is a clean freak, so he didn't want to be around someone with diarrhea. Yun feels sorry for herself for not having anyone around while she is sick. Even as she explains her situation, she has to dash to the loo multiple times. But after a while, she receives a text from Hei Jin, who, having learned her situation, tells her that he will be by her place shortly. It turns out that Hei Jin really likes her, but he is not sure of her feelings. Moments later, Yun hears her doorbell ring. Hei Jin arrives with a bunch of medicine. He wasn't sure what was ailing her, so he pretty much brought the entire medicine cabinet. Yun then reluctantly invites him in. Our heroine is pretty uncomfortable as her stomach won't stop churning. Meanwhile, Hei Jin warms up some food and serves it to her. Yun is touched by his kindness, and there's a moment when the two slowly lean on each other. Hei Jin moves forward to kiss her heroine. However, this attempt fails when Yun's stomach rumbles once again. Hei Jin then realizes that she is suffering from diarrhea, so he tells her he will turn up the music loud so that Yun can relieve herself comfortably. Yun makes sure he blasts the music before she rushes off to the toilet. In the next scene, Chan and Yun are hanging out in his room. Our heroine is recording one of her daily vlogs and tries to convince Chan to be a thirst trap so she can get more views. However, he's not the least bit interested in doing what he calls cheesy stuff, but he is basically forced to act cute in front of the camera. While they're chatting, Yun receives a message from Hei Jin asking to meet tomorrow. Meanwhile, Chan is scrolling through his Instagram feed when he suddenly sees Ji Hyo posting a photo with her boyfriend. It turns out that she made up with him, breaking our poor Chan's heart. He then starts to wonder if the reason Ji Hyo isn't attracted to him is because he's unattractive. Yun, busy fawning over Hei Jin's text, remarks that Chan shouldn't try to date someone who is completely out of his league. This comment obviously hurts Chan's already fragile confidence, so he lashes out, saying that Hai Jin is a womanizer and she is being played. Yun is confident Hai Jin likes her for who she is, so instead she makes fun of Chan's fashion sense. Before long, the two are pillow fighting and cussing each other out. The next day, Yun and Hai Jin meet up in the music room. He asks to play truth or dare, where the player who loses the round must reveal a truth or complete a dare. Yun agrees, and they play a few rounds. When she loses a round, Hei Jin surprises her by daring her to be his girlfriend. Yun blushes, and she agrees to begin officially dating. In the meantime, Chan is busy playing golf, but his mind is preoccupied. He still can't stop thinking about the day Ji Hyo vomited in his bag. He snaps out of it when some jerk shouts at him. The guy boasts that the place is his, and he starts bullying Chan. Just then, a stern-looking chick who is also playing golf interrupts them. Both these guys are struck by her beauty. The jackass quickly changes his tone of voice and speaks softly and politely to her. She then tells him to leave Chan alone. To thank her, Chan offers the last of his coins he has in his pocket. 
Without saying anything, she takes the coins from him and resumes her play. The next day at school, Young vlogs herself getting off the bus. She explains that she's quite nervous today as it's her first time seeing Hei Jin since they started dating. Taking a deep breath, she heads to the school. She then sees Hei Jin, who appears to be waiting for her. He asks her why she has a camera with her. Yun explains that she has started to record her daily activities and asks if she can record him too. Heijin gladly agrees and the two start talking on camera, introducing each other. Our heroine blushes when Heijin addresses her as his girlfriend. They then take cute pictures with each other. Meanwhile, some sneaky bitch is also taking a video of them. The next day, Yun accompanies Heijin to his futsal game and cheers for him. She swoons to her friend about what a great boyfriend he is and melts when he learns that he printed their initials on his jersey. Meanwhile, Chan, who is also playing, is annoyed by Yun fawning over Hei Jin. He also gets mad at Hei Jin as the latter continues missing the ball during the game. Consequently, Hei Jin is sent to be the goalkeeper. However, it turns out that he also sucks at stopping the ball, so their team loses the match. Regardless of her boyfriend's poor performance, Yun still thinks he's awesome. That evening, Chan is working at his father's store. In a chance meeting, he comes across the girl from the golf club. When she is sitting alone drinking chocolate milk, Chan nervously approaches her, trying to talk to her. Out of the blue, she asks him what his dream is. Chan responds that he just wants to have good food, a welcoming home, and a simple life. When asked the same question, she says her dream is far more superior. She says that she wants to be a K-pop idol, but sadly she was rejected in a competition last year. Chan tells her that she's the most beautiful girl he has ever seen, and she will surely secure a spot next time. The two become fast friends and exchange their cell numbers. The following day, Yun explains in her vlog that she and Chan have come to a cafe to eat ramen for lunch. Just then, Heijin also arrives at the scene and joins the two friends. When Heijin sees Chan eating out of Yun's bowl, he becomes clearly jealous. He asks about the behavior, and Yun explains that she has hated mushrooms ever since she was a child. And since Chan loves them, he always eats them out of her ramen. While they're chatting, a classmate named Bona bumps into Yoon and gives her a nasty look. Clearly, these two have some history. Bona takes a seat nearby, and this is when Heijin receives a strange text. It says that Heijin should do what he is told, or otherwise his true nature will be exposed. He decides to meet that person the following day. Yoon notices that her boyfriend looks somewhat worried, so she tries to see his phone. However, Heijin lashes out at her for trying to spy on him. His behavior comes as a shock to both Yun and Chan, as they had never seen Hei Jin act like that before. The next day, while Yun waits for her boyfriend, she writes an apology note. When he finally shows up, she admits to prying into his privacy and apologizes to him. Hei Jin is in a good mood, so he forgives her. He also hugs her from behind and tells her that if one day she hears rumors about him, hopefully she will remember this moment and not listen to those rumors. Hearing his words, Yun is confused, but she brushes it off. That evening, she goes to a park and starts explaining in her vlog that she will start exercising to keep in shape. She wonders why Chan is late for the practice and starts cursing at him. On the other side of the park, Bona meets with Hei Jin and talks about their agreement. It turns out that she hired Hei Jin to make Yun fall in love with him and then dump her. Bona wants Yun to suffer like she suffered. It's then revealed that a year ago, Yun dated a guy that Bona really liked. She was absolutely heartbroken when she learned of them dating, and now she wants revenge. Hei Jin agreed to this plan because her father promised to make his sister's dreams of becoming a K-pop star a reality. While they're chatting, Bona asked Hei Jin if he's fallen in love with Yun while pretending. He straightforwardly says no, and this is sadly overheard by Yun. Our heroine is understandably heartbroken as she sees her boyfriend's true colors. Just then, Chan arrives at the scene and covers her ears. She then begins crying while her best friend comforts her. The next day as Yun goes to her class, she overhears her schoolmates gossiping about her recent breakup. Everybody is talking about how Hei Jin dumped her. Her day couldn't get any worse until she overhears Bona and her friends talking smack about her. One of the girls says that she heard Hei Jin had to wash his mouth out for a week after kissing Yun. He also had to tolerate her smell the entire time they were together. Yun is understandably pissed after hearing such ridiculous rumors about her. Later at home, Yun's younger brother Kildong tells her that the rumors about her and Hei Jin even reached his school. Kildong then suggests that she confront the whole school, telling them the truth. Yun takes her younger brother's advice and goes live on Instagram, where she announces that she always uses mouthwash and perfume to smell good. Her schoolmates then start asking questions about whether Yun Yun has a new boyfriend. Without thinking, she tells everybody that she's already dating a new guy, but then soon realizes her mistake. Now she has to find a new boyfriend to prove it. The following day, 
Yun's classmates force her to reveal her new beau's name. Left with no choice, she says that she's currently dating Chan. Our poor hero reluctantly confirms the news before dragging her into the corridor. Yun begs Chan to play along for at least a month. She can only look at him, pleading. Chan agrees, only because they've been friends for so many years. Later at Chan's house, Yun makes a list of things for them to do to make them look like a real couple, such as posting romantic videos of each other on social media, giving cute nicknames to each other, going to school together, walking hand in hand, and replying to each other within 10 minutes, and so on. After coming to an agreement, Chan and Yoon go out grocery shopping. They snap a couple of photos and record videos together in an attempt to show their closeness to each other. The following day in drama class, the teacher asks for two volunteers to perform a romantic scene. All the students call out for Chan and Yoon, so they are forced to go up on stage. Yoon then gently kisses Chan for the sake of showing everyone that they're a real couple. She manages to fool everyone. However, Chan abruptly pulls her closer and kisses her on the lips, shocking everyone, especially Hei Jin. It is at this time that it's revealed that Hei Jin had actually overheard Chan and Yoon talking about their deal to become fake lovers. Another day, Yoon is recording another vlog. She and Chan are showing off their matching watches to the viewers. They also mention giving nicknames to each other. Soon after the vlog ends, Chan pushes Yoon off and tells her to go home. For the next couple of days, Chan and Yoon pretend to be a couple, working the couple scam. While doing so, it's evident that Chan has started to feel different about the whole thing. But more precisely, he seems to have developed feelings for Yoon. The next day while hanging out at Chan's house, someone rings the doorbell. It turns out to be Yun's younger brother, Kildong. She soon realizes that he's looking for her, as she had stolen his savings to buy the couple's watches. When Kildong walks in, Yun immediately hides under Chan's blanket, making him even more uncomfortable. Kildong delivers some food his mother had prepared for Chan and asks him about Yun's whereabouts. Chan tells him that he doesn't know where Yun is before urging Kildong to leave the room. However, the clever lad is suspicious and wonders what's under the blanket. Chan manages to lie effectively, so Kildong finally decides to leave the room. Before going out, though, he tells Chan to inform Yoon that he will be reporting her to the police if she doesn't pay his money back. He then notices Yoon's shoes at the doorway and smirks, knowing that his sister is definitely hiding under those blankets. As soon as her brother leaves, Yoon sneaks out from the blanket and casually leans over Chan. This makes his heart race, so he asks her to leave. However, Yoon asks Chan why he is acting so weird lately. The next day, the students go on a school trip where Chan and Yoon take a lot of pictures. Seeing them together, Hei Jin is very envious of Chan, so he hatches a plan to expose the couple's fake relationship. That evening, Hei Jin and his friends make Chan and Yoon play a card game. The couple is forced to answer some questions about their relationship, to which both of them respond with very different answers. This makes others suspicious of their relationship. However, when asked about who fell in love first, both Yoon and Chan managed to answer the same thing, that it was Chan. At one point, Chan is forced to confess his feelings for Yoon, so he tells her that he has liked her for the past 10 years, to which Yoon responds with an awkward smile. Moments later, Chan excuses himself from the game, grabs Yoon's hand, and heads outside. She admits to almost falling for his act and praises Chan for his acting skills. However, our hero admits to telling the truth and that he is dead serious. He has indeed liked Yoon since childhood. In a flashback, we see Yoon would always visit him at 6 in the evening, which made Chan very happy. He also reveals that although he tried to like other girls over the years, he would always miss Yoon at 6 o'clock. Our heroine is completely speechless and doesn't say anything just yet. The following day at school, Heijin warns Chan that he will get back what's his, meaning he will pursue Yoon and make her fall in love with him once again. Chan is absolutely livid, but manages to calmly tell Heijin never to go near Yoon. After school though, Hei Jin waits for Yun at her house. When she arrives there, he begs her to get back together. However, Yun reminds him that it was because of him the whole school called her names and bullied her for days. Now that she wants to move on, she warns Hei Jin to stay away from her. Hearing her words, Hei Jin says that he knows about her little secret, that she and Chan are only pretending to be a couple. He also tells her that it's selfish to use Chan to fix her reputation. Just then, Chan arrives at the scene and throws food in Hei Jin's face, yelling at him for bothering Yun once again. Embarrassed, Hei Jin tells Yun that he will call her later and leaves. 
Later that night, Yum recalls what Heijin said to her and wonders whether she is really selfish. Meanwhile, Heijin threatens to expose a secret which would make both of their lives a laughing stock at school. Yun fears that this will impact Chan the most, so she decides to separate from him completely. The following day, she avoids Chan at school and doesn't reply to his texts. Anxious, Chan visits her that evening and confronts her. But when he finds out that Yun and Heijin have been texting each other, he lashes out and throws Yun's phone to the floor. Our heroine then tells him to stop acting like her real boyfriend and tells her to leave. Chan is heartbroken, so he walks out, having realized that Yun has changed for some reason. However, Yun is equally heartbroken as she is just avoiding him to protect him from being hurt. At this time, Yun realizes she also has feelings for Chan. The following day, she decides to apologize to Chan for acting crazy. However, Chan doesn't show up to school. In fact, he doesn't show up for days. Yun starts missing him and reminiscing about all the great times they spent together. One day, she suddenly becomes sick and is taken to the school's infirmary. Heijin visits her, and just like the first time he visited, brings over a bunch of medicine. But Yujin is miserable for not being able to contact Chan for days, so she isn't in the mood to talk to Heijin. She then tells him that it wouldn't matter if he exposed their fake relationship, because now, she really does love Chan. Heijin, who is hoping to get back together with Yun, is heartbroken as tears roll down his cheeks. He finally decides to stop pursuing her. As soon as she starts to feel better, Yun continues to search for Chan, but to no avail. Finally, she comes across a gaming store where she and Chan used to hang out as kids. Thankfully, she finds him there and confronts him. Yun sobbingly says that she was so worried about him when he was gone. She apologizes to him and tells him the truth about why she was avoiding him. Chan forgives her after learning the truth and comforts her. Yun then confesses her feelings for him, and Chan ensures her that he too loves her back. The best friends finally make up with each other and officially start dating. Meanwhile, spectators watch the young couple confess their feelings for each other and cheer for them. One of them even manages to capture their emotional scene and uploads it to his channel. Consequently, Yun and Chan have become internet famous. One day while live streaming, the couple plays a game of dare, where the loser has to kiss the other every time they lose the game. Chan deliberately loses the game in order to get tons of kisses from Yoon. Just then, Yoon's brother texts her, letting her know that her parents are also watching the live stream. Yoon freaks out, worrying about what her parents will think. At this time, Chan leans forward and gives her a kiss on the lips. The ending of the drama shows the couple happily spending their time together, falling in love, and continuing to annoy each other as best friends do. 